What do you do? What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Apparently, gotta be real with y'all, man. What about I told y'all that we was on an upload spree? We ain't uploaded in five days right now. I'm gonna make sure I upload this video today. I just ain't been able to keep up. If I'ma just be completely honest with y'all, we've been having people here from out of town, and niggas wanna go out every day. And it's caused me not to be as focused on my content, which I don't like, so I took the weekend off. Uh, it's currently Saturday. Just take you out throughout my little day. I done already went to drop some liquor off for the restaurant today, so I couldn't take you out of that earlier. I was barely up. But my day's been ended at like 6, 7 in the morning, and I've been waking up at like 4, and I lose my whole day, and then don't even be motivated to make no content. So I'm going to start bringing you all types of sh getting back in my creative bag. You know what I mean? I'm going to start doing pranks on bro, on the family. Day though, um, since I'm taking it, Taking it off from going out of shit for a while. I said that I wanted to grill. I plan on grilling, but as y'all can see, it look like it's gonna rain. It look windy as shit. Y'all see that tree? So I'ma try to hop on the grill, make me a couple turkey burgers and vibe and shit. I hop on the game, stream. That'll be my day, man. I'm about to show y'all my world famous turkey burger recipe. I really don't be putting people on cause if y'all do not know, me and Gordon Ramsay like neck and neck. Like, Gordon Ramsay, I taught him everything he know damn near. We neck and neck, you know what I mean, when it comes to this cooking shit, so. Sorry I ain't been uploading, get off my dick. That whole long spiel that I did, I'm not gonna do it again, but I will tell y'all that I'm down here at the grill. Uh, currently going crazy, if y'all cannot tell. I don't know if you can see the flames in there. I don't know. But currently, um, about to grill. There's a graduation party going on down here, so I'm gonna to try to knock out my burgers before they party start. Oh shit. So, somebody's looking at me. Um, currently just got turkey burgers that I'm gonna cook. And then burgers just coming off the grill we only got one that really just casualty of war but oh shit I don't know, should I? That shit is fucking close. It's definitely trash. Somebody's dog can enjoy this. Currently making a hookah, as y'all see. I haven't actually given y'all an apartment tour, so I guess I could say that this video will be y'all first look at my crib here in Dallas. This is my actual crib where I reside. Um, I know I've been giving y'all a lot of house tours recently just because we've been traveling and houses we can stay there. I actually ain't showed y'all all of them. But these past few ones I showed y'all and I'm gonna show y'all this one coming up. But I'm currently just making me a hookah, just made the burgers. It's so funny. I used to tease people about hookah and now look at me. You know what I mean? I know how to make this shit. I know how to, I got coals burning over here if y'all can see. You know what I mean? I got the little shisha and shit. I didn't figure it out to a sense. I, I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Like, I ain't no motherfucking professional. But I didn't even start smoking hookah till I came out to Dallas. Like, I used to, in Atlanta, I wouldn't dare touch a hookah. But I came out here, the niggas start acting different, so. That's another reason I started with the hookah, too, is because this is a very, people don't talk about this. Like, these people that own these hookah spots, they don't talk about this or these lounges. But hookah, probably makes them more money than their one of something on their menu. Like let's say hookah profit margins are different better than selling wings at your restaurant. No cap. So I've been trying to learn the business as a whole just because I'm out here in Dallas and I'm renting off investing in a bunch of couple things, but I'm been smoking a hookah. I got the burgers over here ready. 
chilling, vibing. I'm thinking about just finishing this video off with a house tour, man. I know I've been honest with y'all. I got some videos coming. Just stay tuned. Just stay patient with me. Let me get our official apartment tour of my crib here in Dallas, Texas. I've been here since January, and I ain't showed y'all the crib, and I apologize. I'm going to be on my sh with this content. Sh so let me give y'all a little tour. All right, so first walk in. Y'all probably didn't already seen this already, but got the laundry, got the laundry area. Then I got my living room. Shit kind of like a mess right now, but you know what I mean? I got the burgers I just cooked. Kitchen cool. Got shit rocking. Little hookah vibe. Couch. Now this right here probably was the best investment I've ever made in my life. This couch is probably the best investment I have made in my entire life, y'all. This motherfucker is like a, look at that. It's like a shaggy material. You know what I mean? Like, it's like beautiful. And it recline. Y'all thought, y'all thought she was sweet. Till you seen it recline. All the way to. You know what I mean? It's a good amount of space in here. I still got some shit to do. Like, I got hella paintings over there that I'm gonna, like, put on the wall. And I got the lights that's gonna come down from it. and do a little LED thing. And then I'm gonna do something. Because I got a boombox right there. And then that's like a record player. I'm gonna do something that I got sitting under the TV. Or something in that box, too, that I gotta show y'all later. Then I got the bar stools, chilling vibe. And then... The wrap around balcony that I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna do I'm gonna do basically like me getting a lot of shit together so I'm gonna do full grass on the balcony I got this out here for right now but full grass on the balcony with the chairs and the seat big ass cushion I'm thinking about this uh, I'm thinking about putting this big ass beanbag like I had in my crib in Atlanta in there let me show y'all that's one room right there. That's Eric's room. I know Eric, my brother. Then, got my restroom. Should have messed right now, but y'all get the point, man. Be raw, real with y'all, man. Ain't gonna sugarcoat shit. Then we got my stream setup room, a little office area. There's like a third bedroom, but I really just use it to stream and like vibe with people. And then, you know what I mean? This is the setup for that. I ain't showed y'all all the way. Y'all probably seen the video of me. Matter of fact, y'all probably didn't see. Oh, yeah, y'all did. Go look at the video of me putting this together. And then here go my room, y'all. Did the black wall. Bed. This bed, actually, crazy story. This shit is cheap as f And I got this bed because I wanted a bed real bad. Um, when I first moved in. And the bed I wanted wouldn't come fast enough, so I just end up getting this bed. And uh Yeah, it's cheap as hell. And I just ain't upgraded it. So I plan on doing that too, yeah. But yeah, I put this wallpaper up myself. Hella, hella problems with it. But it kinda look like it kinda looked like it go or whatever. Big mirror, TV. TV bigger than my whole room. Excuse my language. TV bigger than the room. Closet. Closet is a mess right now, man. Like I said, I'm kicking it to y'all real. Uh, this is just the real me right now. Got hella laundry to do. I just ain't been at the crib. I've been out. So, uh, got the float shelf I put up myself. Yada, yada, yada. Still got stuff to do. Like, all of this stuff, it gets hung up and mounted and shit. I got a guitar over here that I, it's not work at all. Uh, what else? Oh. Niggas always be making fun of me for my motherfucking horse skin rug. So, got a horse skin rug. Ikea. Go ahead and cop. I still plan on bringing y'all into, like, the journey of me putting together the crib and shit and getting it all the way, all the way, all the way together. I just wanted to give y'all a little update on what's going on. Close out this video for y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. I'm going to stay consistent, man. I'm going to find something to upload for y'all every day. Um, I appreciate y'all for supporting me. All the people that do, stay tuned. Um, Black the brand is dropping really soon, so please stay tuned for that, y'all. 
Y'all gonna really enjoy it. I got a lot planned with that as a whole too. Y'all really gonna enjoy the pieces that I got dropping. And I think I'm up for marketing wise, I'm gonna do like this, this challenge for 30 days, you know, where I sell a shirt every day for 30 days, like all the way up to 30. So first day I sell one shirt, you know what I mean? Second day I gotta sell two shirts. Down all the way up to 30 days where I gotta sell 30 shirts on the 30th day. You know what I mean? Like a challenge for myself. So appreciate y'all, man. Drop mindset in the comments. And y'all know every video I pick somebody to send a cash app to. I already sent the one from the last one, so I can probably just say their name. This camera about to die. I'm gonna enjoy my burger, my sandwich, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. I'm gonna have a banger plan for y'all, so don't don't trip. I just want to touch base with y'all. I know it's been about a week almost. No uploads, and that's unacceptable. If we're gonna be real, that's unacceptable for me. So, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I appreciate everybody that support me, support the journey. Follow the Twitch, follow the Instagram. Everything will be linked below. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Where are your videos mindset? Drop it down in the comments. I'm picking somebody to send money to. Appreciate y'all for supporting the journey. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting in Santa, okay. Turning that little bitch up. Send that bitch right in that dinner.